Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and Die Hard. Welcome again to Motor Week 91. We're glad to have you with us. There are some cars that, through a combination of looks and performance, quickly become leaders in their class. BMW's 3 Series is one such leader. Its unmistakable looks, serious accommodations, and sporting performance have made it a favorite with the Motor Week staff for years, and it is the standard of comparison for the sports sedan class. Well, now it's time for that standard to change, but for only the third time in its history. This is the 1992 325i. It's all new and with a formidable heritage to preserve. The 325i actually traces its roots back to the 2002 of the mid-60s, the first of BMW's modern compact sports sedans. The first generation 3 Series arrived in 1975, with 1978's 323i being its top performer. In 1983, the second generation bowed and a displacement boost to 2.5 liters produced the 325i, which so easily captured the hearts of sports sedan lovers everywhere. That generation also produced the superb convertible and M3 variations, the M3 becoming one of our staff's favorite track cars. Now the third generation 3 Series is here, and it seems well equipped to deal with its impressive heritage. The styling is now wind tunnel smooth, borrowing as much from the Long Hood 850i as from larger 5 and 7 series four doors. The aggressive front end still retains the classic BMW look, but features like a deep chin spoiler and aerodynamic headlight covers guarantee minimum drag. The new 325i is larger in every dimension than its predecessor, especially in wheelbase, which has grown by nearly 5 inches. The high bobtail is very clean and modern, but also our staff's least favorite styling feature. It lacks distinction, but does blend well with the rest of the body. Inside, the new 325i makes full use of its lengthened wheelbase. The cabin is far roomier than that of the previous car, and also more efficient. A driver's side airbag is standard. The dash has more style, looking every bit the modern cockpit. Plastics are low luster, but come off looking a little cheap anyway especially on doors and seat backs. The gauges, while large and clear, are still too sparse for a car with such a sporting background. We don't understand what the Germans have against oil pressure and voltmeter gauges. An alphanumeric trip computer also provides more system information. No disappointment when it comes to seat cushions, however. The front buckets are comfortable and supportive. The intelligent manual controls are located on the side. Basic variations include height adjustment. Power seat controls and a tilt steering wheel are available, while the seat belt is adjustable. Cloth and leatherette coverings are standard and are preferred by many of us to the optional leather during the hot Maryland summer. The 60-watt AM-FM cassette stereo is more efficient than last year's model and positioned high in the dash for easy access. Oh, and it sounds great, too. A six-disc CD changer is optional. Summer is also the time for pollen, so we're thankful for the ventilation system's electrostatic microfilter that removes particles from the air. The rotary controls with separate temperature settings for driver and passenger are large, well-marked, and simple to comprehend. The longer wheelbase and a reshaping of the rear seat area means a cabin that now comfortably seats folks six feet or taller. That's something that the last eye could never boast of. The short lid opens wide and reveals a trunk space that is also plentiful at 15.2 cubic feet. Liftover is low and both the spare tire and the battery are located under the floor. On the other end of the car is our favorite 325i feature, the 2.5 liter inline 6, but now it comes from the 525i. Dual overhead camshafts with 24 valves and sequential injection give it 189 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque over 10% more of both than last year. This allows it to run to 60 in 8 seconds flat. A quarter mile takes 16.2 seconds at 89 miles per hour. That's as good as any previous 325i, despite the new car's 177 pound weight increase. Our 325i's new 5-speed manual gearbox is light and positive and near perfect. A 4-speed automatic is optional. The new engine makes its best power higher in the rev range than last year's unit, but we found the clutch to be not as smooth as those in previous 325i's. Handling does live up to the 325i reputation and then some. 
the car feels very neutral, going exactly where you point it. Weight distribution is 50-50 front to rear, and the new rear multi-link suspension was adapted from the Z1 Roadster. Mild plow gives way to very entertaining rear-wheel drift, but there is little of the tendency for throttle-induced oversteer that made the old car both more fun and a handful. You can keep close track of the substantial grip through the excellent steering feedback. The friendlier but still tossable nature of the new chassis makes short work of normally frightening emergency maneuvers, and even more capable sport suspension is an option. Braking is also up to expectations, with the ABS-assisted four-wheel disc pulling the car down from 60 in an incident-free 113 feet. There's plenty of pedal feel, and stability is top-notch, though the heavier 92 car does nosedive a bit more than before. The EPA thinks that the 325i should get 18 miles to the gallon in the city and 26 on the highway. Out on the road, our car delivered 21 miles to each gallon of gas. BMW engineers have always done a fine job of combining a comfortable ride with sharp handling. The new 3 continues that tradition of stirring back road performance that never jars its passengers. The 325i's price begins at $27,990, though there are enough expensive options like leather and seat heaters to easily push the price over $30,000, and there are plenty of Japanese pretenders for less. The Acura Legend is one of them. The Acura is quicker, thanks to more power, and has plenty of refinement. While front-wheel drive, it lacks the handling and feel that you can only get in a rear-wheel drive car. The first two generations of the 3 Series BMW set the standard for sports sedans, and so too does this third generation. It may not be the bargain it once was, but such cars cannot be measured solely on cost. More importantly, the new 3 Series retains the character that made small BMW so desirable. It is a character that most larger BMWs have lost to refinement and competitors have never successfully copied. While we ended our test of the 1992 325i concerned about preserving the 3 Series heritage, we leave it with the understanding that even the best reputations can be improved upon.